In this video, I want to go through knurling things, right? This is a way of creating a surface that is a lot easier to grip, commonly found on something like ratchets. I can do another different kind of knurl pattern. I've got a pocket knife that has a knurl pattern kind of like this. Uh, so let's get started by creating a new part. And I'm working in the part design workbench. I'll create a sketch on my XY plane. We'll make a circle, we'll say shift R for radius. And we'll go with something like two inches. The last thing I made in FreeCAD actually had to be made in inches. So that's why I'm using inches. Let's go with a height of 15. There we are. Now, I'll make another sketch. This time, let's do the YZ plane. And I'm gonna choose a polyline. And shift H to create a horizontal dimension. We're gonna go something like 2.1, right? So that this sits on the outside. And then I'll choose my three lines and say E for equal. Give us an equal triangle. Shift V for vertical dimension. 0.05 should be fine and shift V for another vertical. How about 0.25? Maybe a bit larger, 0.5. All right, now as of FreeCAD 019, we have some beautiful new features. Um, and 019 is released as of a few days ago uh, as part of the filming when I filmed this. So there's my sketch. I can choose an additive helix or a subtractive helix. I'm going to go with a subtractive helix on this one. We're going to go with a pitch of, say, 14 inches. Give us a nice, long, neural kind of pitch. A height of, let's say, 13 inches. Notice we've done a very nice cut into our part. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to have to remind myself to go through possible errors that I've seen with uh, this kind of uh, feature. So now that we've done this, let's go with a polar pattern. Actually, you know what? Multi-pattern would be better. I'm going to choose multi-pattern. I'll choose my subtractive helix. Maybe the first thing I want to do is mirror this, right? And I have to warn you right now, he helical features in CAD get very, very heavy. So I'll, let me be clear and say it's best practice to omit things like knurls and threads unless you absolutely have to. And I foresee that this is gonna get really heavy really quick because helical features uh, are exponential in, in computation. So be very careful when adding neurals, omit them when possible. So if we absolutely have to add a neural feature, we're gonna say uh, a mirror. And how about we mirror this about our YZ plane. So we've successfully mirrored a neural. Uh, now I'll add a polar pattern. And we want a pattern around our Z axis. And of course we want to do a higher frequency of patterns. Maybe I'll add five and see where that puts us. Again, this gets very computationally heavy. Notice I'm hovering over buttons in FreeCAD and they don't do that little highlight thing that buttons normally do. That's because FreeCAD is busy thinking about this. And, you know, this is a lot of computation, even though to our eyes it doesn't look like it. So the trick here is be patient and expect to have delays in long computations. And speak of the devil, there's our neural pattern. We can go a lot more dense with our neural pattern. Uh, just for argument's sake, uh, I'm gonna say eight. All right, so that's what eight looks like. Again, it can get very heavy, very fast. Um, we're gonna say okay to that. Again, it's taken a while because there's 
computation going on. There we go. All right. Um, let's, I'm going to make another part and I just want to show you some things to look out for when doing these kinds of helical features, uh, cause there are potential errors and they are really easy to do, right? So I'm making a new part here. We're going to call it two inches. Now when I go to define my, oh, I better, um, extrude this to, or pad as they say in the part design workbench. Now I want to go to the XZ plane. I'm going to make a sketch and we're going to say C to make that coincident. We're going to make all these lines E equal with E, V for vertical. There we go. I was hitting the wrong key. And shift H for horizontal. So if I say two inches and then I choose my endpoint here and go horizontal and shift V for vertical and go one inch doesn't really matter right I've got this kind of perfectly inside of my cylinder my outer line of my neural profile is the same as my outer edge now when I go to do a subtractive helix notice this thing disappears and I can say okay right and we, we have no graphics on this whatsoever um, and I can try to rectify this, right? Maybe I'll get rid of my horizontal and I'll move this up a little bit. Shift V, 0.05, something like that. And we'll close that. And now look, we, it worked. So problem number one was gone, but now we just don't have the graphics. So this is zero thickness errors, right? Um, or something similar to zero thickness. Uh, so be aware of that as you make these kinds of features, right? You want to not have the kind of, of problems <laughs> like that associated with zero thickness. So that's how you have errors and that's how you fix it. Now, close without saving. Maybe I can, I've got a pocket knife, right, that has this really cool inlay. It's kind of diamond-like. Maybe we can uh, go through making that. So I'm going to start by making a new part. We're going to choose our sketch. X, Y plane looks good. Blah, blah, blah. I'll make a rectangle. I'll choose the S key for symmetric. I'll choose my points and the point about uh, being symmetric that I want to be. Shift H, we're going to say three inches, and Shift V, we're going to say four inches, something like that. Uh, we'll close and give it a thickness of 0.25. I don't know, something that's thick enough, I guess. You should make a datum plane if you're making a serious model, but I'm going to sketch on this face and go with maybe another triangular shape. I'll select all three, E for equal, shift H, 0.125, something like that, shift V, 0.125, and I better increase this, right, 0.25 will probably be good. Shift H down here, maybe negative 2 would put us right on the edge, so I'll make that 0.17. one point seven five and I guess I need a negative sign there perfect all right we're gonna close and how about I sketch on this face right again sketching on planes is better for topological naming an issue that may be a thing of the past pretty soon I'm gonna import this point I'm going to choose an arc. We'll choose a vertical with V, of course. Shift R to make an 8 inch radius. Shift V again, negative 1.25 would be fine. I just want to make sure I go well past um, my body here. So we'll close that. So our first run. 
um, let's do a subtractive sweep. All right, we'll sweep here. And then I'll choose my path here. And we'll say OK to that. Now, let's go with a multi-pattern. We'll choose our subtractive pipe. And we add a linear pattern. We'll go down this axis. So we'll choose our Y axis down here. Let's say I want to go a total, what I give that four, total of, I should say, four inches up here with four occurrences. Nothing's showing up, so let's reverse the direction. And there we go. Um, how about I up that to like eight? Uh, 16. <laughs> there we go. Uh, for, for now, I'm going to go with that, and then let's go with a mirror. And we'll mirror across our uh, XZ, I believe it is. So we've got kind of a neural in the making. But we want to do a little bit better, right? We want this to change size as we go, right? So I could say OK and accept this. But we can do better. So I'm going to get rid of my multi-transform and get rid of my subtractive pipe. And let me edit my sketches. So I'm going to edit sketch two. And how about we make this uh, 1.25, a little more one, right? We'll just go to that very end. We'll close that. Now, how about I make a plane? Actually, let me cancel that plane. Uh, how about I make a plane where I choose this arc, this endpoint, and now make a plane. And we'll choose normal to edge, right? So now we'll, when we sweep, we'll end on this profile that is normal to the profile that we're sweeping on. And I'll go, there's my polyline. I'm going to go back and hide my datum plane. There we go. So I want to say shift V there, one point two five yeah let's go negative point one two five that's what i want select all three of these e for equal shift h for horizontal dimension we say one but i do want my profile to change up a little bit so i think i'm going to get rid of this equal and this equal and simply make these two equal to each other and maybe go with a wider angle, and that should change up our profile a lot. So I'm going to say A for angle, and give it 100 degrees. Now, let's um, close, and subtractive pipe here. Sketch 1 is going to be there. We'll say... Our path to sweep along is here. We're going to say transform mode is multi-section. We'll add this section there, right? So now we've got a changing profile like how we want, where this gets wider as we go. We've dimensioned this in a way that we go to the same depth as we go, which I think is probably important in most design applications. So let's go with a, a multi-pattern now. Subtractive pipe. And we're going to add in a linear pattern. Y-axis. Well, I guess I have to select it here. Y-axis. I want to add something like 10 patterns. And I'll reverse the direction. And you can see that this face becomes more narrow as we progress, indicating our changing profile. Why don't we um, add a mirrored transformation? And I'll choose this plane, which should be our XZ plane. And there we have a changing neural pattern, a lot like what we have um, here. I think this one actually turned out a bit cleaner, but you can always 
you know, alter and change your dimensions to get what you want. But those are two principles on knurling. So I'll put these parts available to download on GrabCAD. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.